Hey everyone, it's Mo Jax, not in the DJ City UK lab today. I'm actually at home with no cameras, which is why you can't see me. I was in the middle of editing another video for this week's tips and tricks, and then Serato dropped this bombshell, the public beta version of Serato DJ 1.9.3. Now this version is notable for one big reason in particular, and that is it incorporates Ableton Link. Now this is something from Ableton Live. It's basically a technology that allows you to synchronize the BPM and phase information between different versions of Ableton or different bits of software that work with Ableton Live across a network. So it can be a wired network or a Wi-Fi network, you know, ad hoc network that you have created. Whatever you've got set up to work with, it will work, anything except a VPN. Now, previously, this was generally aimed at syncing desktop Ableton Live with iOS apps, for example, so you can actually get them all synced up nicely together, but now they're incorporating a lot more desktop applications as well, and Serato DJ is one of the first of those. So let's just go through and explain what's going on here. Basically, you don't need to do anything special with Serato DJ, you've just got a link button in the top corner, and when you've got that activated, the sync buttons on the decks turn into link buttons instead. So that is synced and linked. So basically you're doing the sync within Serato DJ and you're also synchronizing to Ableton Live. So in this case, I'm gonna hit that there and that will turn gray and then blue when it plays. So I'm just gonna play that track from the top. And here's Ableton Live and I've gone into the preferences in Ableton Live. And that is in link, so just play in time with link. And it kind of works independently still. They're not like slaved together there isn't a master and a slave you know both can take control of it it's a little bit tricky from that point of view to get your head around at first but let's just hit it up so you can see it waited for the downbeat in the track and that is now synchronized that's just a midi clip you know just with a hi-hat in there that i put in there i'm sure we can hear the metronome as well And yeah, totally synced. And we can move up and down the BPM. If I leave Ableton there open at the top, you can see the BPM is changing. As I'm changing the BPM in Serato DJ. And they're staying pretty much locked. Now, as it stands at the minute, it does seem to be feasible to kind of knock it out of sync. If you're a Serato DJ focused performer, you're not an Ableton Live focused performer. Really, you want Ableton to follow along all the time. But if I'm hitting quantize on there if I turn quantize off and just make a mess of it now obviously that downbeat is off it's not correct so let's go back in and just hit link again and now it's back to the actual phase that it should be so this is really straightforward to work with and actually set up that's the interesting thing about this this is not a tricky thing to get going you just have both applications running. You need version 9.6 of Ableton Live. That's the regular version, the suite, and also, interestingly, the intro version as well. So if you've got the basic version, it will also work with that. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to get my head around, and it is not the bridge. That's one thing that's worth noting. You know, the Ableton Live bridge was a very particular product, a very particular co collaboration between Ableton and Serato, and this is not that. You know, this is Ableton's general kind of linking technology and Serato DJ has kind of jumped on with that and is, is part of that ecosystem. And the other thing that is missing compared to the bridge is that you don't have the mixtape functionality. I know a lot of people do miss that. Unfortunately, it looks like that isn't coming back. Certainly not in this release. Maybe it may never come back. That might be a technology we've lost forever, but uh, fingers crossed still on that one. The other thing you could do with this link technology as well, you could link multiple instances of Serato DJ on different computers. So you can have two different computers running and have the BPM information and phase information being sent between those over a network as well. So there's a huge amount of potential for growth here. It's very exciting. Now, of course, it's not just about one feature in any new version of Serato DJ. There are some other things as well. There's your bug fixes and so on. They have expanded out the SP6 sampler and it's now an SP8. So we'll be playing with that in a bit more depth in a future episode. And they've updated the MIDI mapping as well so you can actually go in and just made it a little bit more visible a little bit cleaner to work with I'll just hit a button there yeah you can see it's actually giving you much just a nicer display to look at when you're doing your mini mapping which is great 
So that's all in there now. This is version 1.9.3. As I say, this is a public beta version. This is not finished software. As always, I've got to reiterate to you, if you want to play with this, play with it in your own time at home. Do not play with it in the club until it gets to the final release version because there is bound to be some bugs in here. This is new technology, especially with the link stuff. It's all new stuff that you've probably not used before and certainly hasn't had a load of testing from the general Serato user base. So just make sure you're playing with this at home. Don't rely on it for mission critical stuff, but there's a massive amount of potential here, lots going on. So I'm really excited to play with it myself and I'm sure a lot of you will be as well. If you own Ableton Live and you own Serato DJ, now is the time, jump straight in on that public beta, start playing around at home and let's see if we can come up with some really creative uses of this. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks and product reviews. I'll see you soon.